And following that tragic drowning, there's now been some concern about the beach marker system. Our Yvonne Hemi spoke with local officials today and what they're doing to make sure that people are safe. Concerns were raised that the lack of beach markers may make it hard for rescue and recovery operations. Corpus Christi Fire Chief Robert Rocha says a plan is in place when these services are needed. It's done through an incident command structure, uh, working with uh, not only our fire department partners in the area, but with law enforcement and the Corpus Christi Police Department. We have an excellent relationship uh, with them in establishing uh, a, a coordination. Walking a beach like Whitecap, you'll notice inconsistent distances between markers. Rocha says they can use different points of reference when on the beach. Beaches. Uh, is a unique uh, circumstance uh, and uh, I believe that uh, with uh, the loss of life that occurs we have to take a look and see what we could do better. And that's what Assistant City Manager Neiman Young says is happening. The city is aware of the marker issue but says it requires multiple agencies to address. So the focus for immediate safety support is getting more personnel on the beaches. In addition we are looking at having a more robust uh, campaign to market the national flag system that the city utilizes to forewarn people about the conditions of the waters before they enter into the beaches. Um, we really feel that, you know, maybe some of the flagpoles and the, the, the flag system has become like white noise, especially to those that have grown up in the community. Young says there will be more lifeguards out this weekend at both Gulf and Bay beaches. They'll be wearing shirts that promote the national flag system. Reporting on Padre Island, Iran Hammy, Chris 6 News.